okay, so, you know, my name is a brand name according to my birth certificate and marriage license. And someone did some kind of marriage fraud using the name April Williams. And it seems like they had sex with me and my dad had children and stuff that I never... I never asked for any of these stuff, you know. I never asked for a person to pretend to be someone that they're not and use different names and stuff like that. And whatever the bad family plan and stuff was that another family planned and it was not my plan. No. So I've been told to do a timeline of a verbal mental timeline, speaking verbally and mentally thinking about the order that it went in. Okay, so it was like, I had this house on Avenue F in Inslee, and I was paying the rent in Avenue F in this house in Inslee. And, uh, I was about 18 years old, and they said a girl was 16 years old. They said her name was April Williams. And uh, she had came over there, and I think it was like New Year's or something like that. They spent the night and all that or whatever. And, uh, it was some people that said they was watching us naked in the shower and stuff like that. And the dude had molested me. He had touched my penis and stuff like that. And I had a condom and stuff like that on because, you know, I tried to have sex or whatever and stuff like that. But couldn't do it, you know, like. And stuff like that. So, you know, it felt weird, you know. It was a it was a man and he touched my penis with the condom on. He was like, You tried to have sex or whatever. You're not married. You're not supposed to have sex without getting married. So, you know, when it was time to have sex and do stuff like that or whatever, you know. I was like, I have to ask God because, you know, people say that you're not supposed to have sex unless you're married and stuff like that. So, you know. I got my hand like this. I'm not suicidal or anything like this. It's just saying I have to hold my neck up and stuff like that. So, you know, I moved from there to a house on Avenue I, you know, and I was paying the rent there. They called it rooming houses or boarding houses and stuff like that, you know, where you pay for a room in the house and stuff like that. And, uh, I was paying the rent there. I had to move from there because, you know, people would be walking around the house naked and stuff like that. And I'm like, uh-uh. It's not private enough, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, people walking around the house naked with their butts out and showing their penises and stuff like that. No. So, you know, I left from there and, uh, I went to a house in East Thomas, that's where it was, yeah. I was in the kitchen one day, I was trying to cook some chicken and, like, a big fire came out, you know, with the oil and stuff. So, you know, I don't really use the oil when I cook chicken because... You wouldn't want one of those grease fires, you know. So when I was there, you know, I guess, you know, since the dude had told people that you're not supposed to have sex without being married, you know, I didn't have sex when I was there either. So, you know, I was still like a virgin and stuff like that. Uh, I take the girl to school every day and stuff like that. And there was some people there and they would ask me to take them to work and take them to their jobs. And, you know. I was being used, you know, I was a puppy, you know. It was people that were in those neighborhoods that said that they were a family. They said they were in gangs and stuff like that. And um, they had told me to say certain words, like call them cuz or blood or relative and stuff like that. And it's crazy because, you know, looking back on it, people would say that they were my cousins. And then they would take me places to go and donate blood and plasma and stuff that I really don't even believe in doing, you know. But... I guess they was trying to take advantage of me while I was young and tried to use me while, you know, while they could, you know. And uh, I wasn't able to pay the rent because, you know, they said I had some money in the trust fund. And the girl that was there with me would know that I called on the phone the lady whose name was supposed to be Yolanda Justin. And I was like, hey, can I get some of my money so I can pay the rent? Because, you know, I'm only able to work part time, you know, with these injuries, being in the wheelchair and stuff like that. Because my leg been messed up and, you know, I've been, uh, getting abused ever since I was a child, but I still tried to work whenever I could, you know, and so, you know, uh, the girl that was there had, would drive the car sometime. I would let her drive all my cars when I had it. Like, 
whoever it was claiming to be April Williams, because it seemed like it was different people looking back on it. The shit had put a dent in the side of the car, you know what I'm saying? I was like, oh, it's just a material thing. Don't worry about it, you know? And it's crazy because, you know, over the years, like, the timeline, like they were saying, you know, when I went from there, I told you I went to Cane Creek Apartments. After that, you know, uh, they said the girl was pregnant. People said that she was already pregnant, you know, by somebody else and to make sure the church of mine. I don't really know what happened. You know, I don't know if she was my wife or if she is my wife or if she was somebody else or what, what they did. Because, you know, she would have to say all of this stuff. She know what she did and, you know, the people who did whatever they did, they know what they did or whatever. They know I'm stupid and I don't really know that. But uh, anyway, uh, I was in the Cane Creek Apartments, like I said, and when I was there, it just seemed like abuse the whole time to me because, you know, like, they say it's called being bipolar. Having a piece of paper called a marriage license, you feel like you're married. But when a person keeps telling you to go to the club and go to Atlanta and go places that you don't want to go to, and they keep telling you to do stuff you don't want to do, you know, like, when I was in the Cane Creek Apartments at 402 May Circle in Warrior, uh, Alabama, the girl that was there said, guess what? She pregnant, and she chose to do it by herself because she think that Yatrell needed a brother or a sister to play with. And I'm like, wait a minute. I'm thinking it, but I, I wanted to be married. I wanted to, you know, have a girlfriend, a wife, and be married, and one child was enough, you know? So it's like they tried to change my life into something that I did not want it to be. And it was like, well, when she did that, she chose to do something different, and it has nothing to do with what I chose to do. That's the way it was. People was, has been explaining it to me. It was like she kind of violated in that situation, if that's what it's called. So, you know, when I was there, you know, like I, uh, I was making gospel music, and when I was making gospel music, you know, they, they started trying to tell me to make different kind of music and go to clubs and make club music and get money and stuff like that. And they tried to use the children as an excuse saying that you can get money for your family and stuff like that. I'm like, wait a minute, I never wanted a family and stuff. I had enough money for just me and my girlfriend and one child, you know, me and my wife and one child. Somebody else wanted to say he need a brother or a sister or whatever and make a family. No, nope, that was not my plan. No, nope. you can't change me. When I said my wife and one child, my girlfriend and one child, whether you call it a girlfriend, a wife, or whether you call it a kid or a child, that's what it was. And if it wasn't my child on... August 31st, 2004, and it was somebody else's child, and they was just trying to trap me with a baby. I don't know what to say about this situation. They would have to explain why they did what they did, you know? So I left from that apartment up there because, you know, it wasn't for two children. You know, it was for one child, you know, if it was a child being born, you know, doing those things. So when I came down there, you know, I went to an apartment and the child almost died, you know, so I took the child to the hospital. I went to the Department of Human Resources. I did what I was supposed to do and told them what was going on, you know. And the same situation, you know, I moved to this house in Eastlake. When I was there, you know, people was like, they're not sure if that girl is your wife or your girlfriend or if she part of that family. You know, they say it was people at the church asking, did, did a brand then get married to them people in that family? Or did uh, is he married to one girl? Because... Those seem like, you know, different people is what people been saying, you know. And they heard she had the twin in it. They be doing bad stuff. So, you know, you know, they heard that it was people in their family that was associated with being murderers and doing witchcraft and, you know, they, it's crazy, you know. It was like, you know, so when I went to court, you know, because when the child almost died and I went to DHR, you know, it was like the children are I need the supervision because that name, Williams and Jackson and stuff, they had a history of child abuse and stuff like that. So I was the youngest one that they said was part of that Jackson family, you know. They don't even know why I was even in that family or whatever. But it was like, the girl that you see, you know, that they say was your wife, she was not the youngest one in the family. Matter of fact, in her family, the girl is not the youngest one. It was like, a boy was the youngest one in their family, not a girl. So it was like, you know, in those situations, it's like, you know, I was the baby. None of those girls was the baby of the family, you know. They don't have an excuse for whatever they was doing to you, you know. 
And it was like, you know, in that situation, it was like, you know, when I moved to that house in East Lake, you know, I was in there trying to speak up for the church. And I made a lot of videos for, you know, Yatrell's mom, Trinity's mom, and Lord Gerald's mom. It was like my little show was for the children and for the family because I made a whole bunch of videos for them. I even went to jail. I went to jail for contempt of court uh, when I was in their house in East Lake, you know. So it was sometime, you know, uh, before it was it was before the year of 2008. So it could have been in 2006, 2007. I don't know the exact month, but I went to jail for contempt of court because I was in the courtroom running my mouth like you can't take our children, you can't do this, you can't do that, and I feel like a fool, man, because you know. I'm in this room by myself as if nobody don't give a damn about me, you know. You know, I went to jail for her and her children. You know, my blood, my sweat, my tears. They took me to the plasma place. They had me going to these places and stuff like that, you know. I'm not mad at them, no. You know. But, uh, yeah, it was a contempt of court. And they was like, you know, I'm tired of going to jail for them children. I'm tired of going to jail for that family. And not even being sure who my wife is. Other folks saying that. It's their children and they having sex with her and stuff like that. Then what the fuck was I in jail for, you know? Why was I the one in the courtroom yelling and screaming for the children and shit like that? To make it worse, when I got out of jail and I went back to the house in East Lake that time, you know, and I was in jail for like, I don't know, it seemed like it was like at least a month, almost a month or 30 days or longer or less, more or less, I don't know. Somebody had stole my social security check, you know. I had a whole social security check and it just it just wasn't there. And you know, it's crazy. Because you know, just like in 2015, it's funny how I go to jail. They say April Williams was there. And then they say somebody stole your social security check, that same pattern over and over again. You go to jail, they steal your money. She don't know what happened. Nobody says anything, but just me by myself, you know, crazy, you know. So, you know, uh, it was like, ooh, when I moved from there, you know, they said that the children was being abused and they said when Trinity was born, they said they didn't trust that Willie Jackson dude around the children because, you know, he had abused me when I was a child. I think one of these scars on my head came from him hitting me in the head when I was like four or five years old, you know. Uh, he had used some kind of uh, metal spray can like the glade can or the air freshener can that shh, that you spray with you know the air freshener in the room one of those aluminum cans or whatever you know sometimes you're scarred for life sometimes the wounds never heal sometimes you know you just never get over it you know and it's crazy because the girl was bragging on him and like she liked him she was bragging on the person that abused me that was there and i'm like i'm not sure whether they used the name april williams or not, if it's your wife, because just because the person said they're April Williams and they look that way, it sure did look like her sister. It sure did look like her twin based off of the behavior and the actions of that person, you know. If a person know that you just wanted a girlfriend and you just wanted a wife or whatever, it seems like a violation if they tried to force you to be a family man. They tried to force you to be a lawyer in the courtroom. They tried to force you to be a child activist in the courtroom, getting locked up speaking out for children, all of those years of your life that you spoke out for children, you made those videos, you did that stuff, and I'm telling you here today, I was used. I was used as a puppy. Someone claims they are a genius, and it is not me. Someone claims that they are an incredible artist, and that they are very smart, and it's not me. Do you know the person who claims they are a genius and very smart, and it is not me? Someone used me to try to be a child activist to speak out for three children and their mom in a courtroom. I actually got locked up for the stuff while getting my money stole. All of my items and all of my clothes were taken from me. I'm in a room, just me by myself right now. And somewhere, someone claims to be a genius. And a person that said they was a girl and a person that claimed to be April Williams, not my wife, but a person that claimed to be April Williams, Bragged on how smart and how much of a genius the other person is and how they used me. You know, I said stuff and did stuff that I did not want to do, you know. So, you know, it was like it's spiritual abuse. 
So I'm letting everybody know. Someone said all of the music, all of the videos, all of the artwork, don't take credit for it, Brandon. Whoever it is that said they was a genius and said they was so smart, they made those videos. They did that artwork. They used me as a puppy and made me say stuff and do stuff and be at places that I didn't want to be, saying stuff I didn't want to say, doing stuff I didn't want to do. It's not my talent. It's not my guilt. It's not my art. You know, but that way. I would never want to take credit for what the genius did. So, you know, if you've heard some of the words I said and you heard some of the music and some of the stuff I did, you know, I guess somebody used me without me even knowing I was being used. Some people call it witchcraft. Some people call it hoodoo. Some people call it voodoo. Some people just call it spiritual and emotional abuse. Somebody used me and I never authorized them to use me in the bad ways that I was used, you know. So all of those videos and all of that art, somebody is a great artist and it's not me. Somebody is a genius and it's not me. Somebody made all of that music and used all of those samples and did all of those designs and it's not me.